huge. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Best way to see a country. Hey, cross the road. Good morning. Another blue sky day in Cairo. Today I'm going to the Cairo Tower. This big tower in the middle of Cairo that looks over the whole of Cairo. Big panoramic views. And then I'm actually going to meet a guy that I met in Thailand. You gonna do those helmets up? <laughs> Oi, How are you? Hey, mate, are you right to drive? Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing driving the bike? I'm Blood. Who's an Egyptian guy? He's probably going to show me some culture and we're going to hang out. So, so let's go get some coffee, start exploring. Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Cairo Tower? Okay. Thanks. Welcome. So as you can see, Cairo is a very small little city. Only like 9.5 million people. See from those shots just how small this little city is. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> so big, huge, gigantic. And then again, seeing the pyramids in the far distance. Always a treat to see those guys. Hope you enjoyed those time lapses. Like the best location I've ever filmed time lapses, hands down. Now I'm just gonna go and meet Karim, my friend. I'm sure he's gonna show me some cool culture. <laughs> Let's go have a look. Back in 88, some was getting a little paper. Pulled a few strings, rocked the fat rope cables. Pushed the white mercury sable. No polar heat, feral gamma marks on his feet. Serpent's whisper, you can smell the deceit. They greet me like peeps to blend and try to befriend. To get up underneath the skin, my long wind. A blow your head, peach to grease. Murder one team, Barcelona noodle had lean. Microphone fiend, step into the rhythm. This is how I'm serving them. No need for medical attention. <laughs> Alright guys, so just met up with my friend Karim and Wally. Hi! <laughs> They've just introduced me to some beef. Look how big this is. <laughs> what is this called? This is shawarma. This is a chicken shawarma. And this is mix between beef and chicken. So it's fried and rice, bread. So this is like what I got in the bun, but like without the bun. Yeah. So it's like the bad meat. Uh -huh. And then what are we doing after this? We will go to a forsake. We will have so fun there. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Ready? To smoke ready. some oka shisha. Got to experience the culture. Yes. Okay, so just finished up lunch with my friends, Karim and Walid. They paid for the whole thing. Thanks guys so much. Wouldn't let me pay. And now we're going to the top of this hill to look over the whole of Cairo. It's like a small mountain. It's got a view over the whole of Cairo. It's getting a bit dark now though, so I don't know how well I'll be able to make it out, but still getting used to like vlogging around friends and stuff. It's still a weird concept for me because it's kind of like forced, but slowly trying to integrate it and be more comfortable with it. Now we're going to head off. Their friend's going to drive us. Should be a cool adventure with some locals the best way to see a country we never die no we never decease we multiply like we mathematics and then drop bombs like we in the middle east the bomb bomber the bass boom drummer who we are 
والله العظيم ما شربها ابدا هي دي لك 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 What do you guys have to say? Don't you hate that? Hate what? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? Where are we right now? Al Hussein, Aiz Street. Salam alaikum, Shabab Sahab. Okay guys, day's all finished. Great day. Starting off with the Cairo Tower and then heading out to meet my friend Karim. Meeting all Karim's friends. They're all really good guys. They kind of took me out for a tea and a hangout at a traditional kind of Egyptian tea bar in the old Cairo. Just amazing to experience that culture. The old mosques and things. Yeah, the history here is real extreme history. Like, and they really put on the hospitality for me. You paid for everything and would not accept my money at all. And that's the real Really cool thing about travelers. I met Karim in Thailand about six months ago and you know you meet these guys just briefly in a complete other continent and then you know a few months down the line or maybe even a few years they're showing you around their country in Africa and you know you only spend a very short time with these people but they're happy to take you in because they know what it's like to be a traveler and how much of a difference it makes to have someone you know with local knowledge and everything and tomorrow he is taking me down to his city which is another city further down the Nile so I'll spend a night with him and then I'm gonna head off to the Red Sea. It's all on. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you later. Don't watch my passport go old. I know I look a bit loco. And I know that my Spanish is so so. But let's try and keep that on the low low. Cause we're going out deeper. I've got friends that really wanna meet ya.